My name is Arwen Kester, and I am from MiddleEarthNews.com. Richard Armitage, I, I wanted to talk about a little bit about Orcrest, and I wanted to ask about how it was to train with Orcrest, especially since you had to wear prosthetic hands and everything like that. How was that? We did have to put together quite a, a rigorous training regime because the sword was heavy and it was shaped in a certain way. It's a curved blade, so it was going to move always in a kind of circular motion, whether that was a figure of eight. So I had to work on my wrist and shoulder strength and also you know, my elbow because we wanted it to fly around him without injuring anybody else you know, in the vicinity. So it was, it, you know, it was a style that was developed by Mana Davis and, and uh, Glenn Boswell. Mana was my stunt double and Glenn was the stunt coordinator and Steve McMichaels as well, who was the sword master. So there was a lot of input in, into making this, this sword flourish. and. Uh, I really enjoyed using that sword, and when I was given another sword to fight with, it just never felt quite the same. So. Quite the same. And Peter Jackson did give that to you right at the end. Did you get that as a as your farewell gift? Uh, yes, I did. I was I was gifted one of one of the swords. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. So, how was it with prosthetic hands? Did you find that difficult? Um, to do your scenes? Yeah, there were there were um, a, ver a lot of variations of the hands. Um, for, for sword fighting, the palms were removed so, and a, a moleskin uh, oh. was put in its place so that we could grip. Because I think the biggest the biggest thing was not being able to grip the sword and not being able to feel if it was going to come out of your hand, which is dangerous. Um, right. So yeah, it was it was a different kind of hand for fighting. Wow, that's really neat. So, as far as the movie goes, favorite scene. I think um, it's very hard to, to say. I mean, today I think my favorite scene is is when Thorin meets Thranduil and um, they kind of face each other and Thorin really s tells him the the pain and misery that his lack of intervention caused when they were when they were exiled from the mountain the first time and I think he's carried that anger with him you know uh, for a long time and he gets a chance to give it voice and he says to him, Imri Damrad Ursul, which means dire death of flames, which mm -hmm. from a dwarf to an elf is a, is a really serious curse. He's saying, I hope a, a dragon wreaks havoc on your people also. Um, and I think from that moment, Thorin has released some of his burden that he's been carrying, which is why you start to see m more moments of joy come, come through him when they open the door. Um, uh, but it's going to spiral into a little bit more of a darkness in yeah. movie three. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate talking with us. <laughs> You're very welcome.